Good day everyone, today I will be discussing to you the kite and its properties. What is a kite? A kite is also known as deltoid. It is a quadrilateral with two pairs of adjacent sides that are congruent. So to illustrate, let's say we have our kite A, B, C, D. So adjacent sides are congruent. So a, B, side A, B is congruent to side A, B. And side B, C is congruent to side C, D. And in this illustration, if we're going to connect vertex A to vertex C, that will become our diagonal. So diagonals in this figure will be AC and BD. Okay. So that is the parts of our kite. Now we have the properties. The diagonals are perpendicular to each other. So we have our diagonal BD and AC. So that will form a 90 degree angle because that is perpendicular to each other. Second, one of the diagonals divide the kite into two congruent triangles. So one of our diagonal will divide our kite into two congruent triangles. Let's say we have this diagonal AC, okay? So by property number two, triangle, if we're going to use AC, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle AC. while the other diagonal divides the kite into two isosceles triangles. So if we're going to use our diagonal BD, that triangle is an example of isosceles triangle. Then the other part of our kite, triangle BCD, which is an isosceles triangle. Our legs are equal. Or congruent. One of the diagonals is a perpendicular bisector of the other. So just like in our number one. One of the diagonals bisect the opposite angles of the kite. So take note one of the diagonals. So that is related to our number five. Only one pair of opposite angles is congruent. So that one pair of opposite angles are congruent if we're going so one of our diagonal bisect that opposite angles. So that will divide the congruent angle into two congruent angles. Now to further understand the kite and its properties, let's have some exercises and examples. Now let's have our example number one. In kite PQRS, PQRS, PQ is equal to 4x minus 23. PQ is 4x minus 23. RQ is equal to 2x minus 1. PS is 4y minus 10. And RS is 5y minus 17. Find the perimeter of the kite. Now, to find the perimeter, let us find first the length of each side. By properties of kite, we know that PQ is equal to QR. So, PQ is equal to QR. And from Ruben to QR. Now, substitute the given. PQ is 4x minus 23. That is equal to 2x minus 1. 2x minus 1. Solve for x. So we have 4x minus 2x is equal to negative 1 plus 23. 4x minus 2x, that is 2x, is equal to 22. To find x, divide by 2, x is equal to 11. Okay. Next, 
solve for y. Again, by our property, ps is congruent to rs. So we have 4y minus 10, substitute the given, is equal to 5y minus 17. Now solve for y. So 4y minus 5y is equal to negative 17 plus 10. Negative y is equal to negative 7. So y is equal to 7. Now uh, after finding x and y, we can now get the measure of pq. So pq is equal to 4x minus 23. 4 times our x is 11 minus 23. 4 times 11, 44 minus 23, that is 21. PQ is 21. So PQ is 21, that is congruent to QR, this is also 21. Next, PS, that is 4Y minus 10. So 4 times our Y is 7 minus 10 so we have 4 times 7 that is 21 uh, 7 40 21 28 28 minus 10 that is 18 so this is 18 and 18 now to solve the perimeter add all the given sides so perimeter is equal to 21 21 plus 18 and 18. Now we have 21 plus 21, that is 42, plus 18 plus 18, 36. So our perimeter is 76 units. That is the perimeter of our kite PQRS. Example number two. Now let's have our example number two. In kite DEFG, Measure angle DEF is equal to 12x plus 11 and measure angle DGF is 25 plus 10x. Find the measure angle DEF. In our property number 5, one pair of opposite angles are congruent. So we can conclude that measure angle DEF is congruent to measure angle DGF or equal to measure angle DGF. Now, substitute our given. DEF is 12x plus 11 is equal to 25 plus 10x. Now, solve for x. So we have 12x minus 10x is equal to 25 minus 11. 12x minus 10x, that is 2x, is equal to 25 minus 11, that is 14. Finally, divide by 2, so x is equal to 7. Your task is to find the measure of angle DEF. So measure angle DEF in our given, that is 12x plus 11. So 12 times 7 plus 11. 12 times 7, that is 7, no, 84 plus 11. So that will give us 84 plus 11, 95 degrees. Measure angle DEF is 95 degrees. Measure angle DEF is congruent to measure angle DGF. So this angle also measures 95 degrees. Next, example number three. Now let's have our example number three. In kite NUTS, UL is equal to 5 cm. So we have our illustration here. UL is 5 cm. And TL is 12 cm. How long is UT? 
So we know that the diagonals of our kite will form a perpendicular line. So in this case, we're going to draw our triangle that will become ULT. This measures 5 centimeters and 12 centimeters. We're going to find UT. This is the right triangle now. So following our theorem on Pythagorean theorem, so we have UT is equal to the uh, UT square is equal to square root of UL square plus LT square. Now up, oh, remove. Let us repeat. So we have C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. In this case, our C is the hypotenuse, which is UT, is equal to our A, UL, plus B, LT squared. Now substitute our given. Let's say our UT is X. So X squared is equal to UL is 5 squared plus LT is 12. Now we have x squared plus 5 squared, we have 25 plus 12 squared, 144. x squared is equal to 25 plus 144, that is 169. Get the square root, so our x is square root of 169, 13. Now for our answer, ut is equal to 13c. That is the kite and its properties. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.